show me everything. 255 here. What up? What up? We got some exciting news today. We will be talking about this new manga fighter that's supposed to be coming out. Let's do this. So there was this this website, Rufa Manga, posted a, a posted video where this information came from some freelancer website. And it said that you will be developing a new large scale IP intellectual property fighting game from a major game company. This doesn't mean it has to be our system, but then again, who else would it be? Capcom? I mean, really? SNK? Bandai Namco? I, I hope it's Bandai Namco so we can get another Jump Force game or another One Punch Man game because those, those are really good. Again, it says you will be developing a new large scale IP intellectual property fighting game for a major game company. And when they say large scale, is that because of the parties involved or is it large scale because of the mangas involved or is it large scale? Maybe because of both. The next thing they point out is that the platform will be on PlayStation 5. I'm not sure if I should complain about this or if I should be excited. If they are planning to make a PlayStation 5 exclusive, then that means they are trying to get the fighting game crowd here. Since there's no big Street Fighter 5, it's <clears throat> like, since there's no Street Fighter 6, a really good potential fighting game to pull everybody in. Because once they buy a fighting game on a certain platform, more than likely they're going to keep buying it on that platform. So maybe... This is designed to do that because Dragon Ball Fighters is on all platforms just about. And so if they are trying to make this an exclusive for just PlayStation 5, then that means you might be looking at the next manga fighting game and next-gen graphics. And as long as it doesn't play or look like Jump Force, we should hopefully be all right. So the PlayStation 5 platform could be really good as it regards the quality of this new fighting game because we certainly know Jump Force didn't do all that well. In fact, I think it sold about 76,000 plus. Meanwhile, Dragon Ball Fighter Z sold over 500,000 in its first week. And why is that? Is it because the Dragon Ball Z list of characters are more popular than Naruto, Bleach, Hunter x Hunter, One Piece, and Dragon Ball Z characters combined? Is it because DBZ is greater than Kenshin and Kenshiro and Dio, Joe Stars, Yusuke, Mandarin, and all these other popular characters? Is that why? You'd be insane to think it. Logically, since Jump Force had more characters from different franchises to work with, including like five DBZ characters, then logically, it should have sold more. But it didn't. And why? Because the fighting game engine and graphics were mediocre at best. So that's why this time around, they're going the route of DBFZ. Now, why did I bring that all up? I bring that all up to say that they are confident that this is going to be a famous, large IP fighting game made by a major game company. Now... Yeah, as I stated at the beginning of this video, that is very suspect because a large IP fighting game can be based on the title, it can be based on the story, the characters, previous cells. It, it may not be what we think. Certainly, Jump Force failed to be what we think. So we're not really sure about that. Also, this really might just be a big advertisement for Dragon Ball Fighters 2. Certainly, if there was an anime that could meet the standards for a battle manga, we would go no farther than Dragon Ball Fighters, and Dragon Ball Fighters 2 would be completely justified, and I made a whole video about that. I'll try to put the link in the description. So, whatever this is, is, is something good to look forward to, and hey... I may end up playing or buying rather a uh, PlayStation 5 behind it. This is DeepMind 255. One.